What's up guys? So you'll know if you watched the last video that I had to return the i9-9900K and the Z390 motherboard because Intel is going to be releasing their 10th generation of processors and their Z490 motherboard series for those higher end processors. Um, so because I did this, I'm without a computer right now and I sold my old PC, that's why I'm without a computer, to get a little bit of extra money. I actually sold it to uh, D'Angelo. Um, and that was just a little bit of extra money, that way I would have some extra funds to build this new 10th gen, Intel 10th gen PC. Lighting's a little bad there, there we go. Um, so by doing that, again, I'm without a computer. So someone, a friend of mine's, dropped off a old, or an old HP desktop. Now, this thing has Windows 7 on it, at least it's not XP. It has an, let me, let me turn the camera around here. One second, see the specs uh, for yourselves. Um, but this thing has Windows 7. It has an AMD Athlon 2 processor. I've heard of those, but I don't really know how many cores they have. I don't really know anything about them. I just know they're old. Um, it apparently has NVIDIA GeForce with CUDA graphics. I don't, I don't even, that, that's old. Like, I don't, um, but the brand of the desktop here is HP. It's got dual disk drives, like probably just standard disk drives. Definitely not Blu-ray. Way too old for that. And the insides here are a mess. This thing is ages old. The RAM, each stick is two gigabytes. The brand Samsung, if it'll focus there, there we go. Uh, two gigabyte RAM sticks. I believe this is, I checked with some tech people and I believe this is um, DDR2 RAM. At least that's what I was told. I don't know for sure, didn't do any research on this shit. But I was thinking it was DDR3, but it could also be DDR2, but it's definitely not DDR4. Way too old to be DDR4. Now the power supply in this thing is like what? I don't even know how many watts this thing is. 250 watt? Can you see that? Output 250 watt? So that's, I mean, that's decent. I mean, it's 500 would be, you know, better. But so my plans are I'm going to take this hard drive out, swap that with an SSD, and then I'm going to clean that RAM off, put the RAM back in. But before I do any of that, I'm going to get my blower and completely blow this entire system out to have it clean that where all this dust is gone and not in the system like it is now because that's step one, is to clean it out. Then again, remove the hard drive, swap that with the 250 gigabyte SSD I happen to have um, on me, and then install Windows 10 on it, and yeah, it should be good enough to run like maybe League. I don't, I'm going to try and run League of Legends. League of Legends was like designed to run on systems like this, so it should run. I don't know for sure though, so I'll be back when I have all those upgrades and all the cleaning complete. Um, yeah, until then. Okay, hard drive is out. All that's sitting here, mind the mess. Um, it was the hard drive cage that I took out of the case. The hard drive itself, which is a Hitachi 500 gigabyte, capacity of 500 gigabyte hard drive, which isn't bad. I was expecting more like 80 gigabytes, so which is making me think this PC is maybe not as old as I thought it was. I also removed the disk drive. There actually wasn't two. I thought there was two because of the front panel. You could see that there's multiple slots, but it, it actually wasn't two, it was just one. Um, all that's been blown out also. The PCs are looking pretty clean now. Uh, all the dust is gone. Power supply is all blown out. All that's good. So now that's all that's left is the SSD, the processor, and I need to get this RAM back in, um, which I could probably do right now without a problem. And once this is done, then that's all that's left is to bring it in and install Windows on it. One hand installation RAM, it's old, so it's not really snapping easily, but there it goes. I heard it click. There we are. Now let's get the second one in. I hope the angle's alright for y'all, it's hard to watch what I'm filming and do this at the same time. Okay, I believe that's in. One, two, one, two. All right, cool. So yeah, let's go get Windows installed. Four gigs of RAM and an SSD. Okay, it's in the house. Everything's done. It's set up. I'm gonna try and, I put the little this little HP monitor that I got with it here because I didn't want to use my Samsung 1440p one because, I mean, 
I, I highly doubt that this will be able to handle 1440p. So I'll use the 720 or 480, I'm not really sure what it is, probably 720 monitor that came with it. I just need a PC, I can't do this. I need, I need a PC until the 10th gen comes out, so this one's gonna work fine. It'll, it'll probably play a league, maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. Okay, so I got the desktop on. The Athlon 2 is doing something. I'm gonna sit down here. I'm loading in the league now. It's at 100%. I'm assuming that's from the SSD doing its job. But we're gonna find out right now how many FPS I'm gonna get. This is my first time logging in now. Oh my gosh, look at that stutter. Look at that stutter. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but look at that. Look at the lantern. It's like, oh my, I'm getting two FPS. Is that gonna focus? I'm getting one FPS. Let me do that right quick. I, where, what just happened? Yeah, I think this is playable. Yeah. Hmm? I'd, I'd say this is playable. Just so you know, that's not the camera. Camera is perfectly smooth. That is... <laughs> I'm getting four FPS. All right, well, that is enough of that. Um, if I Alt-Tab here and open uh, Task Manager there, mind the keyboard. This is a little HP basic keyboard I have connected. I don't want to use anything too much for the computer to handle. But the only thing I have open is Discord. That is like Discord and League. That's it, and the Task Manager. And you can see the CPU is overloaded. It's running at currently, what is that? 2.7 2 gigahertz at 100% utilization on two cores and two logical processors. So this is not hyper threaded. It doesn't have, it doesn't have threads. It's just the cores. It's a dual core. That's basically it. AMD Athlon 2 X2 215 processor. I've never heard of this processor. I've heard of Athlon processors, but never specifically this one. So yeah, uh, for anyone out there wondering if an Athlon 2, one of these HP Pavlon desktops is gonna be able to run the league, I can safely tell you that the answer to that question is no. I don't even think if you put a, oh gosh, what just happened? Yep, there it goes. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, I'm sorry if I'm loud, but that is insane. It actually crashed. I've never seen that. It, there it goes. It BSOD'd. That is interesting. All right, well, that answers the question. Can the Athlon 2 play League? No, it can't. Can it even handle running Discord and League at the same time? No, apparently it can't because it blew screens. So uh, that's that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. That's that's upgrading an Athlon 2 Pavlon HP desktop with SSD and seeing what happens. And I can tell you that nothing happens because it's it's garbage. It, it don't don't buy one of these. I, I received this from for free from one of my friends, but don't go out and buy this it's it's not good um but other than that i'll see you guys in the next video peace out